Yo, what's up people? My name is Stonachi and I'm back here in the world of Satisfactory. So, update 6. Very cool. I was kind of pleasantly surprised that there wasn't too many um, issues with Area 51 as you can see here. It's got these two little bumps that are kind of like sticking through the floor. But luckily with the, the ghosting that the trucks have, uh, they do kind of bump over those. And if they kind of get flown off track, the ghosting uh, kind of like keeps them back on track again. But yeah, I was kind of pleasantly surprised as you can see here that truck we should It'll get a little bump but it just goes over it and here again it gets a little bump but it goes over it so what oh hold on oh oh dear that wasn't there before oh dear um oh dear and <laughs> well, for the most part it's gone pretty well i'm not even sure if that is an intended uh change to the terrain because in you know those games where you can manipulate the terrain and you can like raise and lower the terrain. They accidentally press the left mouse button a few times without noticing on one spot and just <laughs> raise the terrain in like a, a little mound because it doesn't look like it's meant to be there. Anyway, hopefully they'll fix that if they don't. Uh, luckily, thanks to the ghosting, the trucks, they seem to just kind of bump a few times onto it and then carry on their journey. And uh, yeah, go on my son, yes, yes. Oh, that's going to raise your insurance premiums. I mean, didn't you see that? I mean, surely you could see that from a distance, no? Just go around it. Never mind. And they've moved these cliffs back as well a lot. Uh, there wasn't so much space here before. This canyon came right up to the road before. The road just about fit in between. So they've moved the canyon back here, which is okay. And they kind of bought the canyon out here, which kind of went into the the, uh, the truck station there. But just about get away with it. Just about. And... Uh, so I made some small changes to make all this fit and had to redo the, the oil pipes as well because uh, because all of the oil nodes, they kind of moved around. But luckily, most of that remained unaffected. The addition of the waterfall is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks a bit odd now, this, uh, this road, because I wouldn't have done it like that initially. For some reason, they've moved this canyon uh, quite far back because before, as I said, this canyon came right up to like literally right up to the the road but um yeah anyway i had to make some changes up there but luckily as i said for the most part it was oh oh okay well i don't remember that being there before it doesn't even look like it's an intended part of the change it looks like it's uh as i said you know those games where you can you can manipulate the terrain it's like they just held the mouse button down on raised terrain and they kind of like just raised it in these odd looking spikes and uh for no reason what i can tell but yeah i'm not going to change it it's going to leave it and hopefully they'll get rid of these uh these rather odd looking uh raised mounds of uh sand i mean what is that meant to be i don't understand is that is that intended or is that just like a mistake um yeah anyway area 51 maybe i'll call it area 49.5 or something maybe area 48 yeah. anyway but for the most part it's uh still functional and uh most of the the terrain hasn't made too much of an impact apart from the two uh, two or three obvious things that I, I showed anyway let's continue but if you might remember on the last episode i did this uh build here doing steel and i made a train track going all through the uh, the new area the new biome and this connects all the way to the other side where i've got the um uh, what's it called the gold gate thing so i've got this going all the way through the new biome which is cool and i've been working really hard really fast i've done a massive build here you're going to be really surprised you can check this out it's a massive build i was rushing to get it out for this video and just past this ledge here and you're going to see like this huge new build that i've done over 500 machines and right oh, where was it again it was over here here we go right now i'm only joking i haven't built anything but yeah i've connected this train track going all the way from the steel factory coming to this side of the map that's just temporary dropping off the stuff um from the, the gold gate temple that i did but i've got it all connected now and i'm ready to kind of like venture off into this new biome and build something in the new biome but the only thing is i'm really not sure what to build or what to make that's why i was kind of really hoping for some new machines and recipes obviously i know they've made new recipes for um for the ammo and nobelisks but i meant for more like other like higher tier production items um, so I'm really not sure what to make now. There is a uranium node just up there. So I was thinking maybe to do a nuclear power station uh, somewhere there, but uh, I'm not sure. But I have been working on a small little build over here and I'll head to that now. I don't know about you, but I've also noticed the lighting. Um, everything looks a little bit brighter. Uh, loving the volumetric clouds. Oh, there is no clouds at the moment, but yeah, I'm loving the new clouds. And uh, coming from England, 
I'm kind of used to lots of clouds, but it definitely looks a lot different. It definitely changed something. But yeah, no complaints anyway. It still looks really good. So some time ago, I did a little build here just on top of the uh, the end of Eden. It was like a configurable one. Uh, what was it a manufacturer using biomass burners to kind of have this um, configurable production for the consumables? That was the filters and the rifle ammo and nobelisks but of course they've changed all that now so that was uh, pretty much redundant so i actually decided to redo this completely and i thought i might as well make this a starter area as well and i'm and i put the um what's it called the uh the hub at the top there as well so it's not configurable this time like the last one um, because uh, i don't really have much space i've got this tiny section underneath this floor and so there's not too much space to do a large configurable production but i managed to fit in uh, most of the um the new items that is the new uh, new nobelisks and the new ammo in this uh this small little build here and kind of made it like a starter area as well which i think it's worked out kind of cool because um you've got good access to the train station uh, which leads you to uh, all the all the areas around the map that's all connected on a network and also of course we've got access straight into eden so i thought it made sense to make this like a starter hub area and put the hub on the top make it a more permanent fixture but a couple of the new recipes for nobelisk and the ammo needed this new uh, smokeless powder and that needs some of this um heavy oil residue so i've got an old build over there doing aluminium so it's really easy just to get a little bit of a uh, heavy oil residue uh, coming down there and as you can see you've got the one one refinery sticking through the floor because there's not much space under there. I've got a very small amount of space uh, to fit some machines. Uh, but yeah, so that's doing the smokeless powder. And actually, you know what? Again, let's just go underneath. It's really messy under here. So I just about managed to fit some machines to uh, do all of the new nobelisks and cartridges, and also to have some of that recycling for the um, what they the, the new alien parts to turn into the protein. I've got some machines for that as well. Um, so this is a tiny space and that's all the space that I've got to do all this. So I couldn't really go to town with any kind of configuration. And that's all right, you know, that's all right, it doesn't matter. So I've called it Eden Munitions because in here I've made it so we can do all of the starter tools and equipment. Let's just go inside now. So coming on in, as you can see, Eden Munitions. And I've got a few signs kind of showing some of the items that we can make. The items going into the storage. And here we've got a deposit container. I can deposit anything into the container. It will go into the um, Eden's kind of like a sorting facility. They haven't added all the new signs yet for all the new items, but I've got it. So if you put in uh, leaves or wood, it will recycle into biomass. But if you put in biomass, it will recycle that into the uh, solid biofuel. And again, all the alien organs, it will turn that into protein, but they haven't added the, um, what's it called? The, the symbols yet for the new items. So I haven't added that yet. But if we come up one floor, uh, I've got one of these, um, what are they called? Um, workshops. And I've added 22 containers, which have all of the items needed uh, to produce any of the, any of the tools or any of the equipment or weapons. So if you spawn at the top here, uh, you can just come here and then make any equipment that you might need to start off then if you come up and on the floor it's got a pretty cool view here and we've got the uh, the manta flying just on top we've got the new equipment here so on this one we've got the um homing rifles on this one uh what's this one the turbo rifle and on here we've got the basic uh rifle ammo here we've got the basic novelist and on this one we've got the um the cluster and this one the uh uh, the pulse ones. I haven't done the gas nobelisk and the um, the nuke. It needs that encased uh, uranium cells and that's a right pain in the ass to get here. So I thought I'm not going to do that here. I don't want to get radioactive items here as well. Uh, so I'll save the uh, mini nukes for uh, another build. But at least I've got the cluster and the pulse nobelisk. We've got the turbo and the heat seeking. Not the heat seeking. What is it again? Um, what's it called again? The homing rifle. That's it. Here we've got the package fuel for the jetpack. We've got some batteries for vehicles. On this one, we've got all of the organic stuff going into that one. The equipment will go in there. And then we've got the gas filters and the iodine infused filters. And then if we go up, we've got another floor uh, where I've added a um, research man. And if we go up again, we've got our starter factory. It looks really bright now. Everything looks really bright. I'm running permaday, so it's. Um, uh, midday at the moment. Permaday is just good for making videos so it doesn't get dark because um, making videos at night time doesn't look really great. So I thought it made sense to make it like a comprehensive starter location. So we spawn here, we've got a hub, we've got a little shop coming down, we've got our man and then coming down one floor again we've got all the 
ammunition, we got batteries, package fuel, we got ammunition and obelisks. And then coming down again, all the resources we might need to make any equipment we might want at the um, equipment workshop. And then coming down again, uh, we've got a container where we can deposit any item or turn wood or leaves into biomass or biofuel or uh, the new protein. And good access to Eden and one of the main train stations, uh, which leads us to all of that, the, the main points of interest. So I thought that worked out pretty cool to have this build here. And uh, it's not configurable. Uh, if I had more space, I would have liked to make a, like a little configurable setup, but um, yeah, it's okay. And I'm thinking possibly to do uh, the nuke novelists. Uh, um, if I do another nuclear build, as I was suggesting, where is it? Over there, we've got some uranium node. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but I'm kind of in two minds to do like a nuclear power because I'm got like 20,000. That's a good point. How much power we got left? There we go. So I'm producing about 92 and using around 72. So we've got about 20,000. A megawatt spare because I'm not sure what to build at the moment I'm kind of leaning towards a nuclear power facility there are loads of oil nodes there as well and I think they said they're going to add some more nodes there but I don't know if they're going to add them soon or they mean they're going to add them much later on so I'm not sure if it's worth waiting until this goes live just in case they make some more changes to this area coming over here to the new swamp biome that they've done I don't know about you but this gives me some real uh, Valheim swamp vibes and since Coffee Stain Studios was the um, the publisher for Valheim, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they got some inspiration from the uh, uh, from the, the swamp area in Valheim. But I was glad that nothing was kind of clipping through the. Um, the oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, apart from that one, I was kind of glad that uh, nothing too significant was kind of clipping through. Oh. Okay, well apart from that one as well, apart from those two. Oh, and that one a little bit. Okay, well apart from those three, because you can't destroy these as well. Apart from those three, I was pretty happy nothing was, uh, well, okay. Well, apart from those four, I was pretty happy nothing was clipping through. But joke aside, uh, luckily the um, Infinity Works seems to be uh, untouched by any of the changes. The main facility here seems to be, um, seems to be okay. I haven't checked it all, but from what I've seen, uh, it seems to be okay. I I'm pretty sure Hannah said that these uh, egg looking plants should be uh, destroyable but at the moment you can't destroy them i'm thinking they're going to make them so you can destroy them with a nobilis but at the moment you can't get rid of them but you know what it's all right it's not too bad i do think they're going to make them so you can uh, remove them with nobilis after and another one here as well it's kind of sticking through but for the most part nothing too uh, significant but they've definitely made this biome uh, pretty creepy i set it to night time and uh if i don't know better i would actually think i was in valheim at the moment you know what i do fancy playing valheim again I'm looking forward to the uh, Mistland update when they finally get around to bringing that out. But overall, Update 6 has been pretty cool. Uh, some of the changes have been a bit of pain in the ass, but um, for the most part, it's pretty cool. Oh, we've got the clouds coming now. Here we go. Uh, I love the rain. The rain is really cool. As I mentioned before, living in England, I'm pretty used to seeing lots of clouds all the time. And oh, here we go. Yes, yes. Uh, takes a dump on our starter area just to remind us that uh, he's still boss. What a bastard he is. I'm gonna kill him one day. Actually, they should make it so that mini nukes destroy them, at least temporarily. But yeah, anyway, just a small little update of what I've been doing. And uh, yeah, alrighty. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And uh, maybe I'll catch you again soon.